Have you ever considered the untapped potential lying dormant within each of us? It's nestled in the crevices of our minds, often overshadowed by the hustle of daily life, the chatter of the external world, and sometimes the echo of our own doubts. But what if I told you that within your grasp lies the power to achieve anything you set your mind to? Yes, any picture the small acorn, seemingly insignificant yet. Given the right conditions, it grows into a mighty oak tree. Isn't that transformation astounding? Now think of that acorn as a metaphor for your mind, just as the acorn contains within it the blueprint. For an oak tree, your mind holds the potential for greatness. The question is, how do we tap into this potential? How do we convince our minds to embark on this transformation? Let's start with a fundamental truth. Your life is a reflection of your thoughts. If you sow seeds of positivity, determination, and resilience, you'll reap a life filled with achievements, happiness, and fulfillment. Conversely, if your mind is a garden where doubt fear and negativity are allowed to fester, then your life will mirror these limitations. Now you might wonder, how do we begin this process of mental transformation? The answer lies in understanding that every monumental achievement starts with a single thought, a thought that is nurtured, believed, and acted upon. It's about convincing yourself that you are capable, that you are worthy of success, and that you possess the strength to overcome obstacles. Consider the stories of individuals who have achieved the extraordinary, what set them apart wasn't just talent or opportunity, but their unshakable belief in their ability to achieve their goals. They saw failure not as a setback, but as a stepping stone. They understood that the path to success is paved with lessons learned from every misstep, every challenge. So how do we cultivate this mindset? It begins with the words we speak to ourselves. Words of power, they can build you up or tear you down. Start by being mindful of your self-talk. Replace I can't with I can, I will, and eventually I did. Still lies your success. Be it, feel it, believe in it. And with each small victory, let your confidence grow. But remember, belief alone is not enough. It must be coupled with action. Dreams become reality through consistent, purposeful action. Take that first step, however daunting it may seem. Break down your goals into manageable tasks and celebrate each accomplishment, no matter how small. Now let me ask you, what dreams have you deferred because you doubted your ability to achieve them? What goals have you set aside because they seemed out of reach? It's time to revisit those dreams with a new mindset, a mindset that says, I am in control of my destiny. I have the power to achieve anything. As we embark on this journey of self-discovery and transformation, remember, the only limits that exist are the ones you place on yourself. Your mind is a powerful tool. Convince it to work in your favor and watch as doors you never imagined start to open. In this room, we're all travelers on different paths, yet our destination is the same. A life of purpose, achievement, and fulfillment. Let's commit to nurturing our minds, to believing in our potential, and to taking the action needed to turn our dreams into reality. Let's move forward. Let's ask ourselves if we can convince our minds to think differently. What can't we achieve? The answer, my friends, is nothing. There is nothing we can't achieve. In our journey today, let's delve deeper into something I often like to call the garden of the mind. Imagine, if you will, a plot of land that belongs to you. This land, however, isn't made of soil. It's made of the thoughts, beliefs, and ideas that reside within your mind. Every thought is like a seed that, when planted, can grow into actions and eventually bear the fruits of your results in life. This garden does not discriminate between the seeds of weeds and the seeds of flourishing plants. It will nurture whatever you decide to plant. The real question then becomes, what are you planting in the garden of your mind? Our mindset, the comprehensive set of our beliefs and attitudes, profoundly impacts our growth, achievements, and overall journey in life. It is the lens through which we see the world, interpret our experiences, and make decisions. A mindset can be our greatest ally or our most formidable adversary. It's the architect of our destiny, quietly laying the foundations of our future beneath the surface of our conscious efforts. You see, the mind is fertile ground, eagerly awaiting instructions on what to produce. If you sow seeds of optimism, determination, and resilience, you cultivate a landscape ripe with opportunities, growth, and success. However, plant seeds of doubt, fear, and pessimism, and you'll find your garden overrun with the weeds of failure and regret. The beauty of this garden is not just in its potential to produce an abundant harvest, but in the power it gives you to shape that harvest according to your will. Consider for a moment the incredible potential that lies in understanding and nurturing this mental landscape. When you wake up in the morning, what are the first thoughts you plant in your garden? Do you water them with intention, care, and discipline? 
Or do you leave them to the whims of external circumstances, allowing weeds to take root and thrive? It's the process of cultivating a healthy garden. Of the mind begins with awareness. Become a vigilant gardener of your thoughts. Regularly take stock of what's growing and decide consciously what deserves to stay and what needs to be uprooted. This might mean replacing the habit of self-doubt with affirmations of your inherent worth and capabilities. It could mean choosing to see failure not as a reflection of your inadequacy, but as a fertile ground for learning and growth. But awareness alone is not enough. It must be coupled with action. Just as a gardener tills the soil, removes weeds, and nurtures his plants with water and sunlight, you must nurture your mindset with positive experiences, education, and reflection. Just read books that expand your understanding. Engage in conversations that challenge and inspire you. And reflect on your experiences to derive lessons from them. Now one might ask, how can I ensure that the seeds I'm planting will grow? The answer lies in consistency and care. Just as plants require time, sunlight, and water to grow, your thoughts need consistent attention, affirmation, and action to manifest into reality. It's not enough to plant a seed and walk away, hoping for the best. You must return to it, nurture it, and protect it from the elements if you wish to see it flourish. Let's also consider resilience in the face of adversity. Just as a storm can test the strength of a young sapling, challenges and setbacks test the resilience of the mindset we cultivate. It is here, in the aftermath of the storm, that the true strength of your garden is revealed. Do the roots hold firm? Do the plants stand tall once more? Resilience, built over time through overcoming challenges, ensures that your garden not only survives but thrives. So, as we journey through life, let us be mindful gardeners of our minds. Let us plant with intention, nurture with care, and harvest with gratitude. Remember, the garden of your mind can be as lush and vibrant as you choose to make it. It's the seeds you plant today become the reality you live tomorrow. What will you choose to grow in your garden? In our exploration of the landscapes of our minds and the seeds, we, so, we must delve into a vital element that acts like the sun, essential for the growth of our dreams and ambitions. This element, my friends, is self-belief. It's the unwavering confidence in our capabilities and potential a beacon guiding us through the darkest nights and the fiercest storms. Let me tell you, the power of belief in oneself is not just motivational rhetoric. It's the very essence of creating a life that's rich in achievement and fulfillment. Let's consider the story of a young woman. Born into modest means, in an environment where expectations were as low as the ceiling of the tiny apartment she called home. Yet, within her burned a belief as bright as the stars that canopy the night sky, she believed she was destined for more, for greatness even. Despite the chorus of doubts and the cacophony of naysayers, she pursued her education with fervor, turning every challenge into a stepping stone. Stay. She stands as a leading light in her field, a testament to the power of belief in one's capabilities. Her journey from obscurity to prominence was fueled not by chance, but by the unwavering belief in her potential. Now you might ask, how does one cultivate such belief, especially in the face of self-doubt? The answer lies in understanding that self-doubt is but a weed in the garden of your mind, and like all weeds, it can be uprooted. The first step in this endeavor is to recognize your achievements, no matter how small. Each achievement is a beacon, reinforcing the belief in your abilities. Acknowledge your progress, celebrate your wins, and let these reinforce your belief in what's possible. But belief, much like a muscle, it grows through use. The goal is a small at first, then increasingly ambitious. With each goal achieved, your belief in yourself expands. It's akin to a child learning to walk. With each step, their confidence grows until they're running. And when you stumble and you will view each fall not as a failure, but as a lesson, a necessary part of the journey towards your goals, moreover, surround yourself with believers. The people who see the vastness of your potential, even when you're blinded by doubt, their faith in you can be the wind beneath your wings when you're struggling to fly. Listen to their stories, draw strength from their belief in you, and let it bolster your own belief in yourself. Let me ask you, have you ever faced a challenge so daunting that you doubted your ability to overcome it? We all have. In those moments, it's the belief in our inner strength that propels us forward. It's the whisper in our heart that says, I can do this even when everything else screams. It's impossible. This belief is not delusion. It's the recognition of our innate abilities, the acknowledgement that we are capable of learning growing, and conquering. Remember, the most extraordinary achievements in history were made by individuals who believed in their visions with such conviction that they turned the impossible into the inevitable. Their belief was not a product of their circumstances, but a choice. A choice to trust in their potential. 
to see beyond the immediate to the immense possibilities that lay ahead. So as we journey through life, let us choose to believe in ourselves, in our ability to shape our destinies, to overcome the insurmountable. Let us cultivate this belief with the same diligence we give to the gardens of our minds, nurturing it with positive affirmations, shielding it from the frost of negativity, and basking in the warmth of our accomplishments. The road ahead will be fraught with challenges, each testing the strength of our belief. But remember, it is not the absence of doubt that defines belief, but the determination to persevere in spite of it. It's the courage to take that first step into the unknown, fueled by the conviction that we have what it takes to succeed. As we stand at the threshold of our potential, let us take a moment to look within and ask ourselves, do we believe in our ability to achieve our dreams? If the answer is yes, then the world is ours to conquer. If it's no, then let us start the work today, nurturing the belief that we are. Indeed, capable of achieving anything we set our minds to. For in belief lies the power to transform not only our lives, but the world around us. In the tapestry of life, each thread represents a choice, a decision and action. But what guides the weaving of these threads? What, what blueprint do we follow to ensure that the final picture is one of beauty, success, and fulfillment? The answer, my friends, is a clear and compelling vision for your life. Imagine standing at the helm of a ship, the vast ocean before you. Without a destination, without a course plotted, where does the ship go? It drifts at the mercy of the currents and the winds, a voyage without purpose. But with a destination in mind, every adjustment of the sails, every turn of the wheel, is a step towards reaching that port. Your life, much like that ship, requires a destination, a vision that guides your decisions, fuels your motivation, and shapes your future. Creating a vivid mental image of what you want to achieve is not just about daydreaming. It's about crafting a vision so clear, so detailed, that it feels almost tangible. But how do we create such a vision? First, allow yourself the freedom to dream, to imagine the life you desire without constraints. What picture are you? Who are you with? What are you doing? How do you feel? This isn't just fanciful thinking. It's the foundation of your future. Let's begin by writing down your vision. Detail is key. The more vivid the description, the more powerful the vision. Describe your ideal day from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. What activities fill your day? Who are the people that surround you? What achievements bring you pride? Writing it down transforms it from a fleeting thought to a tangible goal. Next, consider the why behind your vision. Understanding why you want to achieve something provides the fuel to keep the fire burning, especially when challenges arise. Your why is your anchor, the reason you get up in the morning, the reason you push through the tough times, but a vision without action remains a dream. Therefore, setting goals that align with your vision is crucial. Break down your vision into achievable goals. If your vision is the destination, these goals are the steps on the path that leads there. Each goal achieved is a milestone on your journey, a tangible sign of progress. Visualization is a powerful tool in bringing your vision to life. So spend time each day visualizing your life as you wish it to be. See yourself achieving your goals, living your ideal day surrounded by those who matter most. This practice not only reinforces your vision, but also aligns your subconscious mind with your conscious efforts, making you more attuned to opportunities that align with your vision. Surround yourself with visual reminders of your vision. Create a vision board filled with images quotes, and anything else that reflects the life you aspire to. Place it where you'll see it every day. These reminders serve as daily prompts, keeping your vision at the forefront of your mind, influencing your choices and actions. Share your vision with those who support and inspire you. Sharing makes it real, and the encouragement and accountability that come from friends and family are invaluable. They become co-travelers on your journey, celebrating your successes and offering a hand when you stumble. Remember, your vision for your life is not set in stone. It's a living, evolving guide that changes as you grow and learn. Revisit and revise it as needed. The vision you have today may expand or shift as new experiences and insights shape your desires and aspirations. In developing a vision for your life, you are doing more than just setting goals. You are creating a compass that guides your decisions, a beacon that lights your way through the darkest nights, and a promise to yourself of the life you are capable of creating. It's a declaration that you are not content to drift on the currents of life, but instead choose to steer your ship towards your own chosen horizon. So I urge you take the time to craft this vision. Dream big, write it down, visualize it, and take action towards it every day. The life you dream of, the achievements you aspire to, are within your grasp. It starts with a vision, your vision, and our exploration of crafting a life filled with achievement and fulfillment. 
We stumble upon two pillars that are indispensable, discipline and consistency. These are not just mere words, but powerful tools that can carve pathways through mountains of adversity and light up our journey towards our greatest ambitions. Now let me share a truth that has the power to transform your approach to any goal you set. Discipline and consistency are the bridges between your dreams and their realization. Without these, even the most vivid vision remains but a shadow and the most heartfelt desire is mere whispers in the wind. You see, discipline is the ability to give yourself a command and then follow it through. It's the inner strength that propels you to get up for that morning run, to choose a salad over fast food, or to sit down and work on your goals even when the allure of procrastination beckons. Consistency, its faithful companion, is about showing up. Day in and day out, regardless of the weather, your mood or the multitude of distractions vying for your attention. But how do we cultivate these formidable alleys, especially when motivation fades, as it inevitably will? The answer lies in understanding that discipline and consistency are not born from sheer willpower, but from a system of habits carefully crafted and nurtured over time. Start small. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Do not overwhelm yourself with grandiose plans that are unsustainable. Instead, focus on small, manageable tasks that you can perform daily. So over time, these will build upon each other, creating a momentum that becomes unstoppable. Create a routine. Our minds thrive on routine, finding comfort in the predictable rhythm of daily activities. By establishing a set time and place for working on your goals, you signal to your brain that this is a priority, making it easier to stick to your commitments. Set clear, achievable goals. Discipline flounders in the absence of direction. By setting clear and achievable goals, you create a roadmap for your actions. Each goal achieved is a victory, reinforcing your commitment to the discipline and consistency required to reach them. What happens when the initial surge of motivation wanes? This is where the true essence of discipline and consistency is tested. The key is to remember your why. Why did you embark on this journey? Why is this goal important to you? Revisiting your reasons can reignite your passion and renew your commitment. Accountability can also play a crucial role. Share your goals with someone you trust. So we trust someone who will hold you accountable and encourage you when the going gets tough. Sometimes knowing that someone else is rooting for us can be the push we need to keep moving forward. Visual reminders can also be incredibly effective. Keep your goals and the reasons behind them visible. Whether it's a vision board, a journal, or notes on your refrigerator door, these reminders can serve as beacons, guiding you back when you stray from the path. But perhaps the most crucial strategy is to be kind to yourself. Understand that discipline is not about punishment and consistency is not about perfection. There will be days when you falter when the demands of life take precedence, and that's okay. What matters is not that you stumbled, but that you have the courage to stand up. Dust yourself off and continue marching towards your dream. So my friends, as we continue on this journey of self-improvement and goal achievement, let us embrace discipline and consistency not as burdens, but as gifts we give ourselves. Skips that unlock the doors to potential we never knew we had that pave the roads to achievements we once thought impossible. Remember, the power to change your life lies within you. It begins with a single decision to act, followed by the daily commitment to continue acting in alignment with your goals. With discipline and consistency as your allies, there is no height you cannot reach, no dream too distant to grasp, let us commit here and now. To being the sculptors of our destinies, shaping our lives with a chisel of discipline and a hammer of consistency, one day, one action, at a time. In the tapestry of achievement that adorns the halls of history, woven into its very fibers, are threads of failure and setback. These threads, far from marrying the beauty of the tapestry, add depth, resilience, and a richness that could not exist without them. Today, let us explore the invaluable role of failure and setback not as the antithesis of success, but as its foundation. Square, if you will, the story of a young cartoonist. His early ventures failed miserably. One of his first animation companies went bankrupt. He was even fired by a newspaper editor because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. This young man was Walt Disney. Now think about that for a moment. The very name that has become synonymous with creativity and imagination was once deemed lacking in those very qualities. What if Disney had allowed that early failure to define him? Instead, he saw failure as a teacher, a guide, not as a jailer. And then there's the tale of a young woman whose first book was rejected by 12 publishing houses. Told that there was no money in children's books, she persisted. That woman was J.K. Rowling, and the book was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, a book that sparked a global phenomenon. Rowling's early failures didn't deter her. 
They fueled her determination. These stories and countless others like them share a common theme. A failure is not the end, but often the beginning. It's a stepping stone, a pivot point from which to launch towards greater achievements. But how does one turn failure from a stumbling block into a stepping stone? Firstly, by embracing it. Accept failure as part of the journey towards success. Every setback, every obstacle carries with it the seeds of knowledge and growth. When we face failure, we are presented with a choice. To succumb to despair, to search within the experience for lessons to propel us forward. Secondly, by analyzing it. Failure is feedback, nothing more, nothing less. It tells us that our current methods aren't working and that it's time to adjust our approach. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this experience refine my strategy? By adopting a learner's mindset, you transform failure from a dead end into a detour leading you to your destination. Moreover, resilience and persistence in the face of failure are key. It's not about never failing. It's about not letting failure have the last word. It's about getting up one more time than you've been knocked down. This resilience, this refusal to give up, is what bridges the gap between failure and success. But remember, while pursuing our goals, we maintain balance. Our failures, just like our successes, do not define us. They refine us. They are not a reflection of our worth, but an indication of our growth. And so I urge you, let us change our relationship with failure. Let us see it as a mentor, albeit a strict one. Let us listen to the stories it has to tell, heed the lessons it has to teach, and allow it to guide us on our path to success. Let us wear our failures not as badges of shame, but as medals of honor, testifying to our courage, our persistence, and our resilience. Let me leave you with this thought. The journey to achieving your dreams will be fraught with setbacks and failures. This is inevitable. What is not inevitable, however, is giving up. Failure is only the end if we decide to stop walking the path to our dreams. So let us move forward, not with fear of failure, but with the knowledge that it is through our failures that we find our true strength and potential. Let us learn from our failures. Let them teach us and let them lead us to our greatest successes. It's this incredible journey we call life. There's a vital component that often goes unnoticed, much like the air we breathe, yet it's just as essential. This component is lifelong learning, the continuous pursuit of knowledge and personal development. It's the fuel that keeps the flame of curiosity alive, illuminating the path to our greatest potential. Imagine for a moment a world that never changes, where the sun always rises at the same time. The seasons never shift, and every day is a mirror image of the last. Now imagine living a life that mirrors this static world, a life devoid of growth, new experiences, or learning. It's unthinkable, isn't it? Yet, without a commitment to lifelong learning, we resign ourselves to living in such a world, unaware of the vibrant colors and possibilities that lie just beyond our current horizon. The importance of continuous learning cannot be overstated. It is what keeps us relevant in a rapidly changing world. It fuels innovation, sparks creativity, and breeds success. But more importantly, it enriches our lives, providing depth, understanding, and a sense of achievement. So how do we cultivate a mindset of curiosity and openness to new experiences? It begins with a simple yet profound shift in perspective. See learning not as a task or a duty, but as an adventure, a treasure hunt where each piece of knowledge is a precious gem waiting to be discovered. First, become a student of life. Observe, ask questions, and seek to understand. The world around us is a living classroom, teeming with lessons on every corner. Whether it's the intricate design of a leaf, the workings of a machine, or the story of a stranger, there's always something new to learn. Raise challenges as opportunities to grow. It's in the face of challenges that we're pushed out of our comfort zones and into new realms of possibility. Each challenge overcome is a lesson learned, a testament to our ability to adapt and flourish. Set aside time for learning. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to let learning take a back seat. But just as we nourish our bodies with food and water, so too must we nourish our minds with knowledge. Dedicate a portion of your day, even if it's just a few minutes, to learning something new. Expand your learning resources. The avenues for learning are as vast and varied as the knowledge they contain. Books, podcasts, documentaries, workshops, online courses, the resources at our disposal are limitless. Venture beyond your usual sources and explore new territories. Learn from others. Every person you meet is a bearer of unique experiences, insights, and wisdom. Engage in conversations, listen actively, and share your own knowledge. The exchange of ideas is a powerful catalyst for learning and growth. Reflect on your learning. Reflection is where experience meets insight. 
Take time to reflect on what you've learned, how it applies to your life, and how it shapes your understanding of the world. This process not only consolidates your learning, but also reveals new paths to explore. And finally, cultivate a mindset of resilience. The path of lifelong learning is not without its obstacles. There will be moments of frustration, confusion, and doubt. In these moments, remind yourself why you embarked on this journey. Let's reaffirm your commitment to growth. And remember that every master was once a beginner. Lifelong learning is more than a pursuit of knowledge. It's a way of being, a journey that enriches our lives in ways we can scarcely imagine. It keeps our minds sharp, our hearts open, and our spirits alive. So let us embrace this journey with enthusiasm and wonder. For in the grand tapestry of life, each new thread of knowledge adds color, texture, and beauty to the masterpiece we're creating. As we continue to weave the fabric of our lives, let's do so with the threads of curiosity, openness, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. For it is through lifelong learning that we not only discover the world, but also ourselves. Let's embark on this journey, not as passive observers, but as active participants, eager to explore, to understand, and to grow. After all, the greatest adventure lies not in the world around us, but in the depths of our own minds waiting to be explored. As we stand at the crossroads of our journey today, let's remember the extraordinary voyage we've embarked upon. We've traversed the garden of our minds, where seeds of thought blossom into actions and shape our destinies. We've acknowledged the unshakable power of self-belief, the blueprint of our visions, and the steadfastness of discipline and consistency. We've learned from failure, turning setbacks into comebacks, and embraced the boundless horizon of lifelong learning. Your mind, this incredible indomitable force, is your most powerful asset. Me, it's the architect of your destiny, the painter of your dreams, and the author of your success story. Remember, the only limits that exist are those you place upon yourself. So, as you leave here today, carry with you the resolve to nurture your garden, to believe in your infinite potential, to relentlessly pursue your vision, to rise with resilience, and to commit to lifelong learning. Let your mind be the compass that guides you. The beacon that lights your way, your journey to greatness is just beginning, and the power to achieve anything you desire lies within you. Go forth and sculpt your masterpiece.